Hey, eyes on your own paper. Wait, what am I saying? Next on Cheat, we'll be stealing the answer key to Konami's Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Don't worry, they say it tastes like chicken. <laughs> Welcome to Cheat, I'm Kristen Holt. This episode's all about the appetizingly named Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. First up, we sit down with game creator Hideo Kojima. As the game guru behind the MGS series, Kojima's credited with making stealth games popular. Of course, we didn't have any trouble finding him. You know what they say, it takes a thief to catch a thief. After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater is actually a prequel to the other Metal Gear games. So if you played those, you literally have to play this one to keep from messing up the whole space-time continuum thing. And you don't want to mess that up, do you? Didn't think so. Anyway, in MGS3, you're tasked with recovering the Shagahot, and you've got to get past the Gru Armada, plus your former mentor and pal, the Boss, to accomplish your mission. Boss? Confused? Well, just demolish something. That usually helps. I consider MGS to be the 007 series. We're a totally different group of people who keep on producing these films. We finally felt like it was coming together, even though it was the third one, and we were able to do what we wanted to do. One of your best buds in the latest installment of this groundbreaking game is Major Tom. He'll be contacting you on the radio. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procured on site. That goes for food as well. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. To recover lost stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. In the game, I love instant noodles. And even in real life, I like instant noodles. The food of the future, a well-balanced meal for the space age. But I guess in real life, I'm a sushi fan. Sushi? It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. Supposedly, it's made from raw fish. For most of his missions, Snake's on his own when it comes to acquiring guns and ammo. Luckily, Snake knows a thing or two about close quarters combat. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. And can take down his foes hand to hand. Snake can use CQC to take down his enemies without alerting others to his location. Or he can interrogate them for vital information. Radio 144.86. To me, MGS has come to an end of this trilogy. I plan to work on new projects, things I haven't done before. There are younger groups of people, and I would like for them to pick up from where I left off, so they can come out with more MGS games. So I don't think the MGS series will come to an end. Three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. Next up, you'll learn where to find a really cool crocodile hat disguise in the second mission. One important safety note, though. It works much better in the jungle than it does, say, on the bus or at the mall, just so you know. You'll also learn to lay a beating on your old buddy Ocelot. Damn, doesn't that guy ever get tired of beatings? Viewer Matt C. has written in to ask for the location of the crocodile cap, a very useful piece of camouflage. Okay, Matt, we'll help you find the lid. Start heading southwest until you encounter a submerged log. Dive under the log and head for the opposite shore. Once you land, collect anything you find, then head east until you come to this tree. Scurry up the tree, then jump down to the vines below. Crawl across to the next set of vines and drop down. Hey, what's this? Why, it's a perfectly good crocodile cap. Use it to sneak up on some enemy soldiers. One important safety note, while the croc cap may fool humans, other crocodiles seem to get real pissed off when they find you wearing their buddy on your head. Crocodiles are sensitive like that. It's just you and me no one to get in our way. 
The Bolsaya is also the location for your first boss battle against Ocelot. Now, Ocelot has a cool name and some impressive pistolero flourishes, but he's basically a punk ass. Twelve shots. His main fighting technique is to duck behind a rock or a tree to tempt you into wasting your bullets. Don't fall for it. Instead, duck behind your own rock and wait until you get a clean shot. Or you can shoot down the beehives over Ocelot's head to flush him out of hiding. If you run out of bullets or grenades, there's more behind the trees to the east. So remember, to take the showboating Ocelot down a notch, make like Muhammad Ali, float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Damn it. Found us. We have to take a break, but later on we've got boss battles and a bunch of Easter eggs involving Japanese pop stars. I'll explain when we get back. Brought to you by Toyota. Choose any direction as long as it's forward. Toyota, moving forward. Everyone talks about how long their truck will last. When we build a truck, we think way down the road. Toyota Tundra has been factory tested to survive years of abuse. That's why day in, day out, through the worst of the elements, and all the rigors of time, nothing stops a Tundra. Toyota, moving forward. Special financing and lease options available now. Go big. Go fast. Go Sonic Riders. Intense air action. Insane multiplayer battles. It's a pure adrenaline rush. Who needs wheels when you've got air? Sonic Riders. In stores now. Try to keep up. Rated E for everyone. Jinx, clothing and gear for gamers, geeks, and hackers. Check it out at Jinx.com. Welcome back to Cheat and our look at Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Did you ever notice how attractive women always travel in groups? In this next segment, I'll introduce you to some hot Japanese pop stars. They're hiding all over the place in this game. Oh, and when you meet them, play it cool. Eva's a spy who isn't afraid to use all her natural attributes. Thank you, Snake. That's my girl. When you first meet her at the Razfet compound, hit the R1 button to see if Snake's really got his mind on covert warfare. Then, if that's not enough, hit the R1 button again right after Snake wakes up from his nap to reveal Eva's other hidden talents. What's this? A transmitter. Who's responsible for this? Want to see more of the lovely Eva? After the torture cutscene, leave the transmitter chip in his back. When you rendezvous with Eva at the waterfall, you'll see a hidden cutscene. There's something in here. It's so hard. Oh. When did it get like that? Hold still. Let me do it. There, a transmitter. Hideo Kojima has hidden other sexy Easter eggs in Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. In the Gorky Labs, posters of Japanese pop idols can be found all over the place. Here's one of Mariko Okubo in all her glory. And look at the wall of this prison cell. A poster of Mary Shimamura is hiding a tunnel that some industrious con dug with his rock hammer. But one of the best hidden posters in the game can be found during the cutscene in the drone plane. Wait for the R1 icon to appear and press up on the analog stick to find a beautiful stowaway accompanying you on your next mission. How romantic. Not only are there fun posters in the game, but gaming magazines can be found here too. Just shoot the cover and the magazines will pop open. All these magazines have Metal Gear Solid covers on them, all except for one. Here, Metal Gear pays tribute to Hugh Hefner and his own brand of bunnies. But not all Bunch these eggs can be easily found. When Snake gets captured, throw back the food the guard tosses into the cell three times. This will activate a funny cutscene where Snake will say anything to get out. You must be pretty lonely. Yeah, I am pretty lonely. Really lonely. Hey, 
Don't you go getting any funny ideas. The cutscene will also reveal another way to get out if Snake's proposition doesn't work. When the guard starts talking about his family... My dad's a Johnny, and my son's son will probably be a Johnny, too. Look at the back of the photo he holds up. It's the radio frequency to open the jail cell. The whole clan of Johnnies. If you thought being in jail with Johnny was scary, wait till you meet a man named The Fear. Ooh, are you scared? Of course you are. You're cheating. The Fear, as you might expect, is frickin' scary. He's also probably the most active member of the Cobra unit you'll have to face in the game. The boss is a friend. I will give you fear such as you've never experienced before. <sighs> Come into my web. We recently received a distress signal from viewer Steve10390, who says he's having some trouble conquering his fears. Before confronting this Peter Parker wannabe, enter the cure menu and heal yourself. Remove the poison from your body, and while you're at it, take that pesky arrow out of your thigh. It might attract hipster piercing chicks, but it's no good for fighting. Next, turn on your thermal goggles to help you track the fear's movements in the trees. As a bonus, the crosshair from the goggles will give you an accurate weapons lock. The fear may look menacing, but like most bullies, his bark is worse than his bite. His favorite thing to do is leap from tree to tree like George of the Jungle. Eventually, he'll wear himself out, then you can blast him. The key to beating the fear is to keep a safe distance and follow him with your goggles, and shoot him when you have a clear shot. When the fear does come down from the trees, he'll try to knock you down. But just resume your strategy of tracking and blasting, and you'll eventually defeat this king of the jungle. I'm getting hungry. The fear! The fear! After the break, that kooky Kojima will lead you on a very special Easter egg hunt. I suggest you put on your bunny costumes now. Seriously, hop along. Let's count sand. It's not. Let's wait in line. Awesome. Where are all the good games? You guys have nothing. Zip. Nada. We have not a three. With Gamefly, you can rent games from home. Choose from virtually every console game available and we'll deliver them right to your door. There are no late fees and shipping is always free. Programs start at only $14.95 a month. Go to Gamefly.com today to try Gamefly for free. Rated E through M. Right now, a high-performance Dell XPS system with an Intel Pentium D processor with dual-core processing and a 17-inch ultra-sharp flat panel can be yours for only $9.99. And for a limited time, qualified XPS customers pay no interest for 12 months. XPS, the ultimate Dell PC. Go big. Go fast. Go Sonic Riders. Intense air action, insane multiplayer battles. It's a pure adrenaline rush. Who needs wheels when you've got air? Sonic Riders. In stores now. Try to keep up. Rated E for everyone. Have you ever talked to a woman without having to give your credit card number? <laughs> Triumph, the insult comic dog, Sunday night at 11, only on G4. Welcome back to Cheat. You know, for me, Easter's never been about biting the heads off those cute little bunnies. But you know what I do like? Easter eggs. We talked to Hideo Kojima about his favorite secrets in the game. In the game, right after you're captured, it's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. Go ahead and save your game in a different profile. Leave the game, and then come back and load up that save file from the cell area. What Snake is seeing is a nightmare from his dreams. The nightmare game you're playing was created by the Zoe 2 team. They've worked on this game for quite some time. 
Originally, what I wanted to do was have this nightmare sequence be that side-scrolling shooter Nemesis. You know, Gradius. You'll get to play that game, and if you get to the end, then you'll be able to wake up. But it was too straightforward, throwing in a game you already knew. So we changed it. You'll be able to play this game that has nothing to do with Metal Gear Solid. And after a few minutes, you'll return to your normal gameplay where you wake up from the nightmare. So it'll be interesting and shocking for players. There's this thing in the game. When you're at the Mangro River, right after you battle the pain, you'll head towards the end of the river and there'll be a demo where the end appears. The old man is always sleeping. Is he all right? The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. Right after the demo ends, you can use the sniper rifle in like three or four seconds and kill the end. If you're successful and you get to the forest area where you have to battle him, he won't be there because he'll be dead. So it's a totally different story because you won't have to experience that boss battle. Instead, you'll be fighting the ocelots, the guys in the red caps. Another thing, there are mouse traps in the game. If you place a mouse trap in certain areas of the game, you'll be able to capture this Uma, an unidentified mysterious animal. It's this legendary creature you can capture within the game. So where does this elusive Uma hang out? Well, that's for us to know and you to find out. Come on, cheaters, we can't tell you everything. However, if you do find the secret of little scamp, drop us a line at our website, g4tv.com slash cheat. There's nothing wrong with tooting your own horn a little bit. Remember, if you want to see the nightmare Easter egg we just described, you have to save the game, stop playing, and reload the level. That's right, I said it, stop playing. So have you learned enough dirty tricks yet? Didn't think so. That's why we're also going to slip you the keys to some of the game's unlockables. Who says crime doesn't pay? Like any good special forces operative, Snake is a master of improvised camouflage. Most camouflages can be found just lying around, while others are obtained by defeating the Cobra elites with just your tranquilizer gun. Hey. Unlock the following two special disguises once you finish the game and watch old Snakey's face light up. Throughout the game, you'll notice some little frogs called keratins that make annoying sounds when you hit them. Well, what would you do if someone hit you? There's one frog for each area in the game. Collect them all and you'll unlock the Stealth Camo, a designer original that will give you the best coverage in any surroundings. There's another super suit to be unlocked in the Snake vs. Monkey minigame. The first three levels are unlocked from the beginning, but the last two can only be unlocked once you finish the game. You may notice that these are the same monkeys that made Spike so mad in Ape Escape 2. Hey, that's not nice. If you can sucker punch these simians in record time on each level, you'll unlock the monkey mask and banana camo. Konami made the first level of this minigame the hardest. Trying to capture nine of these little monkeys in just under a minute is as tough as it gets. Fortunately, we've got the strategy laced for you. Two, one, start. Your first target is the monkey hiding in the grass south of the cliffs. Once you bag his banana chomping ass, take aim at the two on the left. Be sure to keep your distance from the first one or he'll scurry away and ruin everything. With those two nabbed, hop over the log and tranquilize the little guy who's just hanging out. Jump back over the log and stay on the inside part of the trees to save a few precious seconds. You should soon see another monkey ambling down a hill. When he gets close enough, monkey nap him. Gotcha. When you reach the top, you'll find another monkey just kind of lounging around. Nab him, then quickly look up and shoot the next monkey high atop this tree. After that, drop down, look to the left, and snag the next monkey before he gets away. Once you bag him, there's just one more. He's walking on the limbs of this tree. Now you're finished. All done. Of course, you also smell of monkey. You know how hard it is to get that monkey smell out of your clothes? Anyway, right after the break, we'll totally spoil the ending of the game for you. I'm as giddy as a schoolgirl. Good night, Neil. Why so blue, Panda Bear? What, Ev? You are a buffet of manliness. <laughs> Milky Way, comfort in every bar. Are you still being charged too much for internet service? Still waiting for a better deal? Well, your wait is over. 
With People PC Online, you get unlimited internet access for just $10.95 a month. And you get accelerator technology free for an entire year. That's a $60 value. Visit up to five web pages in the time it used to take to visit one and pay just $10.95 a month. Plus, our smart dialer automatically chooses the fastest, most reliable access number. Want more? You even get security tools to help protect you from spam, pop-ups, and email viruses. Compare us side-by-side -side with your current ISP. Go to peoplepc.com to try us free for 30 days. Surf up to five times faster for an entire year with free accelerator technology. All this for just $10.95 a month. But hurry, this special offer is for a limited time only. Go online or call 1-800-537-2017. People PC Online with Free Accelerator, a better way to internet. New G.I. Joe Sigma-6 is here. Cobra Commander, Snake Eyes, Long Range, Ninja Bat, Kamakura, Cobra Ninja Bats attack. Can Kamakura send him to the scrap heap? You're in command. G.I. Joe Sigma-6. Figure sold separately. Welcome to Cheat, the show where you're only cheating yourself and the thousands of enemy soldiers you blow away. This time, we're going to take a look at some cool tributes to other Konami games hidden in Metal Gear Solid 3. We'll also hook you up with the password for the new PSP game, Metal Gear Acid. Man, we are totally spoiling you! Confused? Yeah, well, you should be. This handsome fellow, Raiden, from Metal Gear Solid 2, shouldn't be around yet. However, if you grew attached to Raiden during hours of furious gameplay, you can select his face by choosing I Like MG2 from the main menu. When you start a new game, you can see the changes in Jack's appearance from the opening cutscene. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? If you still can't get enough of Raiden, and who can, don't worry, this isn't his only cameo. We think Colonel Rykoff from the Weapons Lab looks suspiciously familiar, don't you? You can also find a poster of your favorite future Metal Gear inside the locker where Colonel Rykoff's body is stashed later on. References to other Konami games can be found in the upper levels of the Gorky Labs. There are two paintings in this library that also hang in the final stage of Silent Hill 3. Creepy, right? There are also two special codes that have been hidden within the game that'll bring a smile to every gamer's pale, sun-starved face. When you first enter the Gorky Labs, head for the soldier in the main lobby. He'll be the only one standing there looking all soldiery. Interrogating him will uncover a special secret. Acid password. J-E-H-U-T. Why? Jehudi, of course, is not only a super neat password, but it's also a reference to Konami's new game, Metal Gear Acid, coming out for the PSP. Another cheat code comes from an unlikely source, your ally Eva. While the two of you are walking in the woods, grab her suddenly and interrogate her for some surprising information. Left, right, left, right. I don't remember the rest. But we do. It's an homage to the first set of cheat codes implemented into a Konami video game, Contra for the NES. Now that's old school. Stop shooting me. In the final battle of the game, you'll be lacing up your gloves and facing one badass chick. I have to warn you, to beat her, you may have to fight dirty. You don't have a problem with that, do you? I'll give you 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, MiGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. This is it. The fourth quarter. Sudden death. Two enter, one leaves. You got 10 minutes to defeat the person who made you the big bad soldier you are today. We've got a request from viewer Big Sounda, who's having trouble with the boss in the final mission. Nice try. To prepare for battle, equip any camouflages that'll help you blend into the surroundings. Next, select your survival knife to help combat the boss's CQC attacks. When she grabs you, try to break her grip and knock her down. Oh, and when she's on the ground, aim for her head with your AK-47. Run a little ways off and let her chase you. When she tries to shoot you with her Patriot, get in front and you can outrun it. Let's see what you're made of. Although it's good exercise, it won't work every time. But you should be able to win about 75% of the time, and this will give you the upper hand on the legendary boss. When you do get knocked down, remember to use the cure menu to mend your broken bones or your health will start to deplete. When you do exert too much energy fighting the boss, run and hide behind some trees or take cover in the bushes. Once you recover enough health, continue with your hand-to-hand -hand combat and eventually you'll slay the big bad boss bitch. 
Jack. Or should I say, Snake. You're a wonderful man. Kill me. Kill me now. Do it. There's only room for one boss and one snake. Okay, kids, that's it. Another illicit tryst comes to an end. I trust I'll be seeing you at the after party, but if we don't run into each other, leave me a message on the boards at g4tv.com slash cheat or email me at cheat at g4tv.com. As always, you can find the codes from today's show on the Cheat Sheet Master Database. So until next time, I'm Christian Holt, and it's been a pleasure cheating with you. Attention, G4 viewers. Stop humping your Lara Croft dolls. Triumph is here. So tell us about your new sitcom that's going to be off the air in two months. Have you ever talked to a woman without having to give your credit card number? How can something so tiny and delicate be such a filthy and brutal whore? The best of Triumph the Insult Comic Dog. Sunday night at 11. Only on G4. Feel free to invite your imaginary girl.